so you will uh, so you will contact I'm, to the facebook support yeah i can contact them and obviously you have mentioned something you have mentioned our tracking we have set up the facebook conversion api and server set tracking and everywhere is we are getting the result in a turn of facebook so what is the main problem and why my pixel cannot track the parses those people are complete the parses yeah there it is <laughs> and <laughs> if, if if possible alex if possible can you make the one meeting schedule with the facebook team then we can discuss to discuss together with them um because the facebook support is the bullshit because if you if you trying to contact with them they have say they they have sent to the some referral ring to visit something like that and after that their contact is the close but it would be the very better if we can make the one meeting schedule with the facebook support team then we can disclose the all things and we will explain what is the happening and this is our configuration yeah i mean they keep trying to get me on a sales call so maybe i can contact them and just say Yes, because if from our country is not possible to make the meeting schedule with the Facebook support, but your country is very easy to make the meeting schedule with the Facebook team because they believe you guys, not us. They don't believe you. <laughs> Get out of here! Oh, it's fucking! I forgot. It's not Facebook. It's Meta. It's Meta Pro. <laughs> Meta Pro team. They're always trying to reach out and be like, yo, what's up? And Alex, if, if possible, can you uh, can you go to the Google Ads and try to run the Google Ads campaign in the Facebook Ads? I hope it will be the very good for you if you run the Google Ads campaign for your business. What do you mean Google Ads? Uh, Google Ads, the Google AdWord. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you think it's better. Yes, and I suggest to you, uh, I am working with the many clients and agency. So, so the many clients tell me, and they are moving Facebook to the TikTok campaign, TikTok ad. There are many audience, the many traffic, and easy to getting and reach out the traffic and getting the more conversion. In Wait, a, so they're running ads on TikTok instead of Facebook. Yes, just, just I am telling you, you can. You can try and check it. It would be the better for your business because the Facebook at the moment, the Facebook marketplace is going down day by day because Snapchat and TikTok is coming there as well as Google Ads is working very fine. So I am sharing some experience because I am working with the many client and agency. So sometimes I get some different difference requirement from them. And my some clients, they are using the Facebook ads like seven years last seven years but right now they have stopped the campaign of the facebook and they are shipped the tiktok campaign and they are getting the more revenue and conversion just i am telling you you can you, can, the you can you can read some content how you can run so it's very easy like you think the same configuration just copy and paste in the tiktok but tiktok conversion result is more than better than facebook the one thing and the two things the google ads is very <laughs> it's all right <laughs> no problem <laughs> okay and and the google yeah, ads great. and google ads they are a million and billion traffic information is there it's the best so, um, and I, their conversion cost is very low and very cheap. If you well, get some keyword and if you're trying to bring the more traffic as a conversion, but if you want to run the Google Ads, just tell me, I will configure the Google Ads conversion tracking. It's free for you, not, right. it's free for you, not I'm charging. Do, I mean, my original plan was to run ads from Facebook. Once I had that going, then I'd be able to get all the buyer data into 
Google, G4A, and then I'd be able to then target my Google. So because uh, the Facebook, you, you are right. You are right. I agree with you. They have no concern. I respect you. Your your plan. I that respect plan. your plan. Something like that. But the, at the moment, the Facebook traffic is not engaged that too much. You can see the lot of traffic. Fa Facebook and Facebook conversion rate is very low. The Facebook conversion rate is like a uh, hundred k traffic. The Facebook mentioned the 0.01% conversion in, in their system. Yeah, it's stupid. Okay. So, I respect your plan. So, no problem. You can run the Facebook ads and you can contact with the support how we can fix the problem. Then let me know. And as well as you can make the plan to run the camp in the other social platform like TikTok. It's a very popular platform at the moment. I can also <laughs> change it. But I will say this, like, dude, it's a, such a competitive market that I'm in. It's like kind of a stupid market to be in, to be honest. No, the competitive market is not not you. You are providing like this service. No, no, no one, no one doesn't know about it. No one knows about it. Yes. Because what do you mean? What do you mean, Bis? Uh, the you are you are thinking the many competitor market, but it's the very rare. You there's there's solution you are providing. No, dude, it's so uh, like going after coaches is like the dumbest fucking market to be. Here's the point. Um. So no one doesn't know about the system that I data layer. No one does. Oh yeah. yeah. No, no, I'm saying you, okay, what we've done in the setup is awesome. The product I'm selling is to teach coaches how to get clients. That is saturated. There's tons of people teaching. And then I'm, dude, I look at the few buyers that I have, and there are other business coaches trying to, buying my shit so that they can, what, repackage and sell it. And it's just like, dude, they didn't, it's like, uh, it's crazy. I'll tell you, like, Here's what I know from a lot of high, big-time ad buyers. Right now, yeah, Facebook sucks, but the market's also shifting from what the space that I'm in. Um, it's not as like, like webinars don't work as well anymore, but ultimately you want to find markets that are not as saturated. Right. So I'm looking, so basically I'm working on information products. The problem is, is I don't have, I'm trying to build small teams. Um, one product that I'm actually working on with some friends is a coffee company, which is very saturated, but I believe that there, we have a superior way economic. I'm, we're better at the economics. So can I but, uh, can I can I get chance to work with your small team? Oh, I mean, I I just yeah yeah yeah. I mean, I'll I'll definitely get you involved once we, because I'm just I pitched this idea to two other friends and they wanted to. Um, dude, it's it's the craziest idea. But basically, how much do you know about America? Do you know who Andrew Tate is? <laughs> do you know this guy? No. Andrew Tate is this guy who blew up on social media. So if you search Andrew Tate, he blew up and then he got banned from all the social media. And he's part of this. So basically in America, there's a big problem with like, um, I, do you know about the Me Too movement? Yes. Like, all right. So basically a lot of men are afraid to be men because the women are going to like sue them and everybody's fucked up mentally thing. about it. So... Yeah, we're just gonna run a we're gonna run an advertisement for one dollar filters for your coffee machine, kind of like Dollar Shave Club. But we'll do that. We'll put, we won't make any money. They'll buy the filters, but then immediately after there'll be an upsell to either coffee or coffee maker, right? So it'll be like, hey, buy this coffee. But then the email marketing 
is like crazy long stories about searching for the best coffee in Colombia, being held at gunpoint and like going to jail, like just a crazy story because these people's lives, they're really bored. They have nothing to say and go on. So you send these emails where you're living this crazy life searching for coffee for them. And the idea is like you just we scoop up all the buyers from the market by charging nothing on what it, so everybody's trying to make money with coffee filters. We're going to make no money with coffee filters, but we're going to extract buyers from the market. So that's interesting, but it's, that's such a low margin business that'll like take at least, you know, a few years to like actually either be profitable or sell. I would probably just sell it. Um, but I have a friend He's a doctor. He's writing a book about how to fix knee pain because a lot of Americans have knee problems. If you go on Google right now and search knee pain, all you see are hospitals, hospitals and clinics advertising. So I'm going to be able to go in with an information product for fucking five bucks. Boom, scoop up all the buyers from that market. And now I have no competition. And then I have a friend that I'm talking to about black women's hair. So it's a hair care course for black women. But I can't fucking be, I can't be the hair care. Like, I can't tell these women, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to sell a hair growth course. And again, if you look at the market, the market's educating them. You want long hair. You need this. You need that. And they're all being told they need um, this shampoo or this nutrient or this. And we're just going to go, here's a book that explains everything that you need for your hair. So it's like while the entire market educates them on what they need to do, we come in and just scoop buyers up. So that's really when Facebook ads do really well is when you go into these markets that are really big, but with a just completely different strategy, if that makes sense. Whereas like, dude, I don't know if you know any business coaches, but it's like, dude, I can name 50 off the top of my head. And they're all like, "This, I'm going to show you how to make 6K, 7K, 100K, five, one six figures a month, 10 million a year. <laughs> like, the claims are just getting ridiculous. And it's but, like, screw this. It's, 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 it's really, it's really pleased to me. So you have a lot of plans in the future, but why you are waiting? You, you, you are not going to the, the medical product or cushing something like that. They have no marketing competition. I am, but they're just they're taking a while to produce the product. Alex, so, I will I, I will show you the one things and uh, for my another client, they are providing like this service. I hope it would be the very helpful for you. Okay, just I am sharing a skin, just you show, okay? Sure. Going into the face market, beauty market, like dude, that's where it's at. Whereas this like, let me teach you how to build your coaching business. The only reason is, dude, I'm in Bali. There's a million fucking coaches here and I see their ads and I see their, and it makes me angry when I look at their products. I'm like, screw these guys. This is awful. Because the, because the, everyone go to the Google and teach something by the Google. They, are, they are don't need the individual personal course or something like that. The trainer. No, it's because, um, because a lot of people bought products over the past five years teaching you can get clients with webinars. They failed with that because webinars don't work as well anymore. The problem is, uh, let me put it this way. So somebody takes a business course and they take a course on how to build funnels. So then they go, oh, I can build a course teaching other people how to build funnels. And so every person who becomes a client then becomes a competitor. And so you have all these people selling, let me teach you how to make more money being a coach. Let me teach you. But there's much bigger markets than it's like it's called just business opportunity. So I have friends who built a hair care course, how to take care of your hair. I have, uh, I, I, I have, I have one client. 
I have one client, he is doing the haircut style business, the salon, the salon business. Ah, uh, salon. No, this is a information online course. Okay, 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 okay. No salon. It teaches you what diet you should have, how that fitness helps you regulate your hormones so your hair can grow. Dude, this girl went from going, I don't know if anybody wants a course on hair care. The first month, they ran ads. They got $300,000 with a 11 to 1 ad spend, ROAS. A big market. Fucking spend. But it's also just like nobody has a hair care course. She also has super long hair. But the market is so sophisticated. Like her her landing page is like want longer hair. It's like so simple. It's like so dumb. Whereas mine's like a oh, DSL, fucking all this copy, like all this shit to sell a five dollar book. And it works. But it's just the mark, like, you know, people see my ad and they go, oh, another one of these. People see her ad and they go, oh, wow, this is different. Because no I'm competitor. Just, uh, yeah, it's not that there's no competition. It's that it's like, I would call it shoulder market competition. So what you do is you find markets where there's tons of competition from one angle. So people buy shampoos, they buy vitamins, they buy nutritional supplements, they buy brushes and combs, like all of this shit. But nobody is saying, hey, you don't need any of that stuff. Here's what you really need. I used to have hair problems, but look at me now. They sell hair pills, supplements, and none of that stuff works. I mean, it sort of works, but... You know, a big problem in the U.S. mainly is, like, these people just have shitty, shitty fucking diets. So they eat very poorly, no nutrition, and then they spray chemicals on their hair expecting their hair to absorb it. But, no, you need to treat yourself well, and then it grows out of your body healthy. That's what you need to do. And then just understanding what shampoos do for your, like, what do shampoos do to your hair? And how do they affect your hair growth? Um, and why most shampoos are damaging your hair because of what they do to your hair. Stuff like that. Uh, so right now, for me is, so Alex, so well, what is your what is your main plan then that you are trying to reach out your business? So what is your main product? For the coaching? Yes. Yeah, so basically I'll run the ads. I want to get it to a break even, meaning I spend 100, make 100. And then I'm just filling a group, like a Facebook group. And then all I do is post in that group. And then at some point I say, hey, if you want to learn how to get clients, if you want me to show you like like how we really help people on the inside book a call and then when they book a call then i like legit kind of like this break down their business say this is what angle i'd use this is how you build a it's not a funnel like that's the problem everybody's like you need a funnel you need a funnel it's like yeah it's not so much about funnel and then it's either finding people who want the coaching or finding people who want the agency work, and then we just do it for them. So, right? so, so your your targeted traffic is the entrepreneur, right? The business coaching owner. Uh, it's something. It's like. anybody who's like a coach. So I guess specifically, I'm more or less targeting. I just had some Russian chick buy, dude. Because of like my targeting, I get like a lot of females because just because of my marketing and like how I say, and then all my examples are me helping women on my site. And I think women are a little bit underserved or women 
don't want to learn from like a hyper aggressive man who says you need to hustle all the time, but they also don't want to wor- learn from a woman who just says you need to to feel it and it needs to feel right. Like no business advice, no specific. I mean, so yeah, for me, I just I like getting reps. Meaning, like, I just want to continue to get in front of people, help solve their shit, so I just get better and better and better at marketing. That's, like, I guess the main. So, no problem. But, I mean, it just starts. You, you just. This has no problem, man. You so, just started. Hopefully, it will be going well, but it's TikTok. You think TikTok's where it's at? Uh... Yeah. So you're saying, I think the main thing with Facebook is, yeah, dude, Facebook is sucking big time right now. Yeah. The, I hope you can, you can ship the Facebook as well as the TikTok. It will be the, how do you, how, what do I need to do to set up TikTok? Uh, TikTok just, you can create the TikTok account and the business account. Then you can start to run the campaign. And before that, you have to set up the TikTok pixel with the events. That's it. Like Oh, super easy. So I could just put the pixel on and run it. I don't need to do G, G yeah. Google tag. Yes. So you can also add to Google tag or you can also input your website header section, the TikTok pixel. So no problem. If you have any problem, just message me. I will do for you the free. No problem. Um, I have a question. Yes. Well, I guess TikTok is pretty much the same as uh, Facebook, Facebook, right? Yes. But possibly potentially cheaper. It's a different. It's definitely a different like. Yes, the the traffic is shifting Facebook to TikTok because the Facebook is bullshit. Their their ad cost, their policy, their ad account disable issue, and their their support and the many other things. The client are very worried, so that's why. So yes. The Facebook ads is oil is the different different situation. It takes time to increase your business, the traffic, like at I mean, the, Yeah, once I get the once the once I get my pixel sorted and it's finding buyers, then it's just about figuring out the structure of the upsells. Yes. And the first, I mean, dude, I had a woman, she bought she she came and then she signed up. And then two days after, after she got a bunch of my emails, then she bought. So, Alex, I would like to I would like to share the one things with you. Okay, so I I have done the Facebook blueprint certific- certification of the Facebook, and that my coacher he said us. So if you want to grow your business with the Facebook, at least you have to make plan six to seven month approximate. You don't care about the profit, something like that. You always think to increase your traffic with your website. The number one, at first, if you make the website, then set up the pixel like conversion API, then start to run the brand awareness campaign to introduce your business to your client. Okay? So not, right. not, not directly the sales, the conversion, not directly. So the, the, the couple of minutes you said the funnel, something like that. Okay? So at first you try to introduce, I am not telling you, but my course are tell me in the Facebook courses. At first, you try to introduce your business to your targeted client, your targeted country, your targeted ages traffic. What is your business and what type of business you are providing? That the message you can provide to your traffic. And after the traffic brand awareness campaign is ongoing, you don't stop like this. And as well as 
they suggest us to run the traffic campaign to a specific country and the ages people. And the brand awareness campaign is running, traffic campaign is as well as running. So your pixel is tracking the more traffic information. Then you take one, two, three months, then make the custom audience or lookalike audience in the Facebook audience manager. And when you make the audience, the custom audience, you input the 180 days approximate and 3% conversion and make the audience look alike audience. Then you can run the campaign, but don't stop your brand awareness and traffic campaign because those people coming the brand awareness then come to the traffic, the traffic campaign, the drive it to the your conversion campaign. So and as well as if you have Facebook page and Instagram page and there also the your traffic is engaged already. So you can make audience, the custom audience, those people are visiting your Instagram on your Facebook page. Then make the audience, you can use the audience for the remarketing. So the three or four funnel, if you use constantly, Hopefully you will get the best result. But this is information I got from the Facebook. It's not my personal opinion. But I am not working as a Facebook expert and ad manager. But I am working the web analytics. But I know something. So and I, ha I am getting some experience with the other clients. But at the moment Facebook is not going away. So that's why some clients are moving the TikTok and Snapchat, something like that, and the Google Ads as well as. So that's, yeah, it's because of iOS 14. Yeah, the iOS 14 issue is everywhere. There are no problem. The cookie, already I have fixed the cookie. There are you know, no problem. So if we have the cookie. No, but the, the iOS 14 problem is that they're basically, the it's going to just keep getting worse and worse and worse. So it's like, it's not. It's not like it's going to all of a sudden improve and get better. You could be a monkey in 2015 and run ads and it just it worked. Right. But now, because Apple's building their own ad network, yes. that's what they're doing, which is the biggest crock of shit ever because they said, we're here to protect your data. We're here protecting your data. It's like, no, you're just trying to sell it and get in on the action. And did you, um, and Alex, did you try to run the campaign, the Bing ads, the Microsoft campaign something like that before not yet but i think like it's not <laughs> it's not I mean, eventually. so you can I, focus yeah. you can focus the google ads facebook and tiktok hopefully they get best results and i am always here to assist you any any problems without cost no problem so i'll tell you who i so i'm in a mastermind right now and I'm learning from... Even learning every day. A lot of things already, you know, just explore and provide the information to someone. You don't oh, need to I, learn. I'm always studying. <laughs> but the people I'm learning from are... One of the guys invented the VSL. Do you know what a VSL is? Uh, VSL is... So basically, in 2009, they created the first video sales letter. Yes. And then they started launching a bunch of these on ClickBank. And these two guys were copywriters just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, like, right now, I'm really diving hard into learning VSLs. One of the guys in the group gave a presentation two weeks ago because he runs the ads for Tony Robbins. And he showed... This is what we did, and this is how we're doing it with Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi's thing. Um, over and all, they're saying challenges aren't going as well anymore across the board. And event live events are really um, doing really well. And the best live events are like a one-day, six-hour event are the ones that are crushing it. <laughs> Which is, I mean, if you just, it's just like a longer via uh, webinar. So the point is, all of this stuff works. 
But then there's like nuance and levels and layers to the game as well. And they're the ones who recently, because I only got in like two months ago and they've been opening my brain like, dude, you, it's just better to go into, uh, it's better to go into trending markets than it is to go into like the same market everybody like a business opportunity market or like the same shit everybody else is going into and i'm like dude they make it just makes so much sense because how many coffee company i look at the coffee companies and they're so bad at advertising i can be a fucking retard and crush on those ads so is the physical business um it's it's physical but i do believe like so they're they're so dialed into e-commerce and they're just like here's a bag of coffee boring and i'm going to i'm going to go specifically after the very like the guys who want to be manly so our ads will be like i drink coffee black because i don't need sugar because i'm a man like crazy divisive <laughs> angles that like will really attract a group do you, of people do, do you know what is this a banana yes you take it dude why is your camera black and white because my my like my home condition is not better like you no dude look at this you you are living you in the rain. you are you are living the you are living the awesome place and the background and you are like hero <laughs> no i'm just a guy man we're all just hustling we're doing our thing um i do have a question i set up in google analytics um instagram instagram traffic Uh what did I do? I clicked on audiences. I clicked on uh custom definite what did I do? No, I clicked on audiences. So I clicked you, on create a new you, you, audience. You would like to see the Instagram audience in the Google Google Analytics? Well, what I want to be able to do is eventually depending on where people are coming from. So let's say I'm running TikTok ads. and they come to my site. Yes. I want to be able to retarget only the people that came to my site from TikTok ads on GDN, Google Display Network, instead of just have a general retargeting of people who landed my site. I want to be like retarget TikTok people on GDN. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just being retargeting you know everybody even if they come organically so at first at first you have to run the tiktok campaign then we can start to generate and track the tiktok audience in the ga4 then we can make the audience i will assist but do i need to set up something in uh google tag manager so Or the can i do google can i just do it in google you can uh, g4 just you can create the pixel and the pixel code you can set up your website header head section or as well as google tag manager the number one and number two and after that you have to set up the parses even like the facebook then we can understand easily the conversion also the tiktok that's it right but it would be like for retargeting people who yeah that just is, land on the yeah the so retargeting people like if you want to use the tiktok audience and the facebook audience or instagram audience then we have to look up at the audience in the ga4 the traffic acquisition the traffic is coming right. from where do i need to set that up before i start running the ads yeah no The so I can. So 
the facebook audience you cannot use the tiktok campaign the tiktok audience you cannot use the facebook campaign all right <laughs> so i can it's a different different way with different different system but you can see the whole report what is the happening at a glance in the gf4 but you cannot use the facebook audience to tiktok the tiktok audience to the facebook so this is the different so platform. I, could, I could separate that yeah in g okay okay yeah i mean that's the point like that's the point with google is just controlling your spend can, but you, google will say but you can use the instagram audience for your facebook campaign your facebook pages audience for the facebook campaign the website audience for the facebook campaign that the traffic is visiting but i'm saying i i want to separate the audiences within google analytics so that meaning this I, if i run ads i want to be able to retarget people with um google remarketing but I don't want to retarget everybody who lands on the site, only people who land on the site from TikTok. You can. So I can set So I do I set this up after or do I need to set this up before I start running the ads? No, the after. When when the TikTok pixel is tracking the data, we can we can get some information of the TikTok in our GA4 and after that in the ga4 we have to make the audience for tiktok audience and this audience you can use the google ads campaign all right all right maybe i'll spend the fucking day fucking with tiktok but i'll say this man the guys that i'm now learning from are so how, how how many students smart. how many students at the moment in your hand that you were teaching do i have no how many students you have right now that you are providing the teaching program and coaching uh, for what the system yes i don't have any coaching clients i mean there's like 10 people bought the book I personally like <laughs> I'm not going to do anything until like it's break even because if the if it's not breaking even and I'm not creating a group on Facebook do you give a shit <laughs> do do you have YouTube channel not yet I mean yeah I do but you can start the YouTube, YouTube channel maybe you will get the more traffic from the YouTube that you are providing the most uh, from youtube ads not i am not talking specifically for the youtubers but i am saying you have to create the one youtube channel for yourself then you can upload some content or video in the youtube and automatically your video will be throw out throughout a reach out the many clients like you that they are very interested to doing like your course or purchase your course something like that so it did with a very helpful no man this is such a different approach i run i run paid ads i get a front end funnel working i don't give a shit about organic until i i break even on my front end funnel once i hit a break even and i know my copy's dialed and then i sell two or three people into the coaching program then i start then i create that and then i start getting people into teach the coaching for me i'm not i like don't give a shit about interacting with people as much <laughs> but then once once that happens then i start sending tons of emails and then i just start scaling out the the advertising because once i hit break even dude it's game over like like once you hit break even you have unlimited customers and but we'll see like i just like doing it the more the more i launch the more i write i have another client she's a fitness guru fitness guru yeah but it's really hard she's she's chinese dude so i write all the sales copy and then we translate it to chinese 
But you said. Just I am telling, then you can take decision what you will do. But Facebook, it's not a problem. Maybe it will be solved soon. In the back of the Facebook, because our tracking is going well, there have no problem. Just I am suggesting you why you only focus on the Facebook your program. You can also focus the other social media platform. There have many traffics already engaged like the Facebook. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but you start with one man and get one break even or profitable, and then you move to the next. Because trying to start five different ad platforms is stupid because then you have to have a way higher budget. <laughs> And you're just basically flushing money down the toilet. All right. So the uh, I'm gonna go try Alex, to do... Alex, you are you are running the remarketing campaign. So can you tell me how many audience in the remarketing in your uh, the specific audience that you are using in the campaign? The, how many audience is there? Was there? I don't know, not much. So approximate three Nothing. to five k audience. If you have, then you can make the remarketing audience. Otherwise, your campaign not going well. What? I thought it was 20 people. Oh my god. You 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 are so huh. pushed like Facebook. <laughs> the face I thought you could, dude, I put a, I think I put like what a dollar into it. So like I no, don't care. No, that's not going to spend it Facebook, in the As per the Facebook document, they suggest at least one one K to two K audience if you have in your pixel then you can make the audience for a specific even like page view or way busy to yeah, there, the custom audiences they're ready no way it says it says it's ready the people are ready the, the ready is not it not means you are allowed to the remarketing campaign but I, I i have to know how many people in this there how many audience below a thousand <laughs> below a thousand <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but man, if it's not if it's not gonna work, it's not gonna spend the money. So you just like leave it there, and then when it's finally big enough, then it just starts. So you put a dollar in there, like it's not a big deal. But my suggestion is, Alex, you can run the traffic campaign, not the conversion. You can run the traffic campaign and try to and try to bring audience to your website at first then we can make the conversion campaign but not directly the conversion that's why your ad cost is too much so one conversion something like that you can run the traffic campaign first the 10 day 15 days or one month you can run the traffic campaign to engage the traffic with your website you make sense what i'm saying <laughs> yeah but doesn't the problem with that is Facebook targets people who, like, usually you don't want to do that until you know who your audience okay. is, right? Okay, just, just you can you can send me some information of your audience, then I will I will figure out some audience, then I will send to you. Just you can target them. Just you can send me the WhatsApp your who are your targeted traffic and client and their ages. Just tell me. I have used some. I don't know, dude. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm targeting them with broad reach campaigns for, uh, um, what do you call it? Conversion. No, that I I want to know your traffic, their information, their interest, their demography. I would like to hear from you, their interest. What type of interest is there? And, and, you are targeting your traffic, but their internet is what? There is a... I'm targeting, targeting other authors in the space. Yes, like you target me. So obviously you, you, you have to understand my, my interest. So how you... Right, make... but I'm just using like uh, very... I'm using very generalized... Because in my experience, when you target traffic... It's it's all over. Like you don't know when you target get traffic. Facebook goes, oh, these people like to click on shit, so we're gonna target these people. What do you mean no? At first, at first, you have to understand what is your client interest, and this interest you have to input your campaign. Then you start to run the campaign. Then your campaign will be show your interested people. 
like i am yeah, I got that. yeah that that i am but, selling the t-shirt so the, this t-shirt is not for everyone this t-shirt only for 25 and 30 years people and the 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 t-shirt the t-shirt price is 100 dollar it's not for the general people it's the premium level people the t-shirt who able to buy the t-shirt 100 dollar so i have to target the luxurious re residential area their monthly income is 50000 k dollar or 10 10 k thousand dollars something like that i will target them and their interest who would like to buy the luxurious product and the branded product and the t-shirt and the university uh, students and the college students they are they are uh, studying in the standard university or school or college something like then i make the plan their ages like 25 to 30 ages. then this information i have input in the detailed targeting in the facebook then i have used the my t-shirt nice image the eye attractive image and with the content i am using this uh, this uh, this a uh, cloth i coming from the australia then i made in the bangladesh then i providing like this so the attractive com content i have to input the campaign then i have to publish the campaign so that's my question so what is your targeted client and traffic who are want to the do the cushings or entrepreneur or businessman or who I mean, how you how you target you. them Coaches. Courses. What type of courses? In the English course? And the gym whoever has a fucking program and, amongst and, clients. And gymnasium? A martial art? No. Yeah, any of them. Any of them. <laughs> no. You have to target yeah. you have to target specifically your traffic. Then you will get the best return. Not the whole people. I am not your client because I am I am not interested to doing your cushing program. But you have to find out, like me guy, who are they interested to doing like this course? In the Facebook campaign, you go to the campaign and click the detail targeting. You can see the lot of options to track your audience. You have to find yeah. you have to find out from there. Your targeted audience interest, their demography, their ages. Then you have to run the campaign with the attractive content and image and title that people see the Facebook. What, what emails do? Image, image, the photo, photo, photo. No, no photo. The images or URL link or content, something like that. Yeah, but I'm not doing content marketing. I'm doing such a different style. No. It's direct to purchase. The direct purchase is happening, but at first you have to generate the audience, your traffic. Then you can make the sales. This is the funnel of the system. I'm saying, but you can do yourself what you want to best. No problem. Just I am telling you because I have worked with some people the this strategy of the selling. The so Facebook doesn't know you are the popular businessman and you, you run the campaign and one day you, you are getting the million and billion dollars, something like that. Facebook at first, they would, they would like to understand, for example. Bro, that's the whole reason why the conversions thing, that's why I'm, the conversion, it's, for, it's, it's going up because it's not tracking conversions. Because the way that the ads are set up and the way that they're run and the way that they're written are very specific. Dude, these are not like, uh, the ad's not like, want a book? Da, 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 da. The ad is like a, a fucking 800 to 1,000 word ad. This is so different than uh, what you've probably experienced because it's selling information products. Um, but again, yeah, it's just a fucking, it's just a fucking mess, dude. It's just a fucking mess.
That's why I'm just trying to get the conversions fixed. Because once the conversions get fixed, then it just, look, I need 10, 20, 30. Then it starts converting, and then it starts finding them better and better and better. Then you can get up to 20 and 50 a day. So if you, and, Alex, if you allow me, I can, I can run the one campaign for you. Um, well, I don't have any emails. No. And I'm not collecting emails. So if you, if you want, I can run the one Facebook campaign for you. Um, if you want, I understand how it works, but the strategy might shift. You want to, you, you want to discuss with my Facebook expert, my team members, if you don't believe me. No, I understand how it works, but you're coming from e-commerce. No, not the e-commerce. I am, I am working, I am working with the many clients, the real estate, the e-commerce, the business courses, and the, the, the sales, the only the phone call lead, something like working with the many people. What is their ad spend? The I'm not working with the, everyone, the ad manager, as a ad manager, but I don't know there about the system. Because uh, the everyone come come to me for the set up the Facebook conversion API. At that time, I, I, I see their ad is happening, something like that. So no problem. You can make the plan, then let me know. If need my assistant with my team member, then we can run the one Facebook campaign, then we can wait the seven days and 10 days, something like that. Then we can see what, the, what is happening and what would be the happen. Yeah, I mean, dude, there's so many routes that it just depends. And I can add on to this funnel. Um, there's like, I have strategies that are so fucking way different. <laughs> so basically, I can, what I do, if I really want, I run ads, I raise the price, I run ads for a free download, then I retarget the people who download with reach ads for 15 days, and then I present the offers again. There's like infinite ways to do it. But obviously, your next campaign will be very great, but you have to fix your targeting, your traffic targeting. If your target is not well, your sales is not well. Yeah, I mean, that's the point of helping it find the targeting for me. But again, if the, if the conversions aren't coming through, it's not going to target very well. I'm using the algorithm, man. I got you. I know what you mean. So you, But as I see all the so you, people coming in and purchasing, like, dude, I had a yoga girl buy. Then I had a funnel building Facebook ads guy buy. Then I had a woman. She's like a breathwork coach. Dude, all sorts of shit. That's like a fucking broad range of coaches, man. Then I had some guy who was like in an ad agency. It's all sorts of shit. This is my sunglass, but not like you. This is just normal glasses. No, no normal. No normal. It, it's this... normal. It's normal, not you. Um, it's, all right. It's, it's only... Seven hundred dollar, only seven hundred dollar. Your glasses? No, 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 not not seven hundred. Seven dollar. <laughs> seven dollars. Yeah, dude. These are a little bit more, but we have seven dollar glasses here. <laughs> we have five dollar glasses. I was at a glasses store the other day. It was like five bucks. These are a little bit more. All right. So Alex, I'm going to I'm going to talk to these people and try and figure out what's going on with their tracking and then I'll let you know. So Alex, uh, I will I will invite him to our, our 
group the six members if of I my do. team the one day what right now no not right now it would be the night or day after tomorrow just come and teach us some things about the freelancing career and as well as what type of uh plan we we can make for our future for the income the money for the royalty we we guys only depend on the freelancing the someone message in the fiber and upwork then we can contact with them then we have done the job then they pay us and the project is finished but i yeah, but Faisal, you have to you have to tell people what they should pay you need to make a price because if you don't make a price and say it's up to them they'll underpay you because that's like you have to tell people what you want to get paid if you don't well then they don't pay enough so that's why i would like to work with the other things i uh, i am not i am not also depending in the freelancing as well as i would like to work the other things that that very help to my career and i can earn some royalties or money and uh, uh, passive incomes okay so about about these things you can i didn't really know much about tracking but i knew i needed it because my ads were all over the place so then i hired fazel he set up tracking and i had 300,000% increase in conversions you see so, that's what people want they want to get rich and tracking allows them to do that if i just say setting up tracking was a good experience nobody gives a shit about tracking then you know what i'm saying they need to know thank you any problem message you message me i will be join all right okay thank you so much sir Thank you, Fizzle. Bye. Thank you.